Not to get lost, of course, in the fray of all of our news today. There's a lot that's happening as far as our forecast goes, too, because we actually do have some changes that are afoot. Yeah, we got a couple cold fronts we've been looking at and really looking forward to as we get beyond midweek. But we do have a, some sprinkles to talk about, some showery weather uh, that could impact you on your morning drive. So let's get right into your forecast preview. A few showers. Uh, we kind of limit our widespread heavy downpour threat. Uh, for tomorrow morning, but uh, again, we could be looking at some maybe some spotty showers just enough to work their windshield wipers for your morning drive. Then by the evening hours, temperatures warming up into the low 80s, but tomorrow will be the day I'm highlighting as the day of transition. So let's really highlight your morning rush hour commute. Low to mid 70s on the way, so not much of a cool off. And also humidity is going to remain intact. But well, let's talk about those shower chances that could slow you down slightly as you get closer to your rush hour drive. Right now it's all quiet. We do have, did have a few sprinkles around Richland and uh, Ashland County earlier this evening, but things are mainly dry and quiet. Here's the cold front I was speaking of that's going to be slowly sagging down to the south and right along this front that's going to be the focal point of more shower activity but it's going to be arriving here as we head closer to sunrise so it's not going to have a lot of instability to work with so the heavy downpours appear to be on a limited side but all of this all this energy associated with a low that's spinning in the upper Great Lakes and check this out. This is what's not really being highlighted here, where all the cool air is located. Already crossing over uh, the international lines here in the upper Midwest, and that's going to be the game changer here that's going to be arriving here eventually by Thursday morning. So let's time things out here with your National Design Mart hourly forecast. This is post midnight. Again, all quiet. Let's fast forward to clock to around five, six o'clock for any early risers. Yes, we do have a few showers in the area. Just enough to work the wind shear wipers. As I was speaking, this is six o'clock. We could see a passing shower or two, but the widespread heavy rainfall threat it's not all there. Here's the cold front right on the north coast as we approach eight and nine o'clock. Now, as we get deeper into mid morning, getting close to midday, that is where the atmosphere is going to have a little bit more juice to play with. Therefore, the cold front is located right here, and therefore we have little heavy downpours to talk about mainly south of 480. So we're looking at communities, Worcester over to Akron, Ravenna. You could see some passing heavy downpours approaching lunchtime tomorrow. But that's going to be our great is threat of picking up with heavy rainfall throughout midday right into the early afternoon. Then we could see some post frontal showers. This is around this time for tomorrow with a north breeze and check this out. By the time we're waking up for early Thursday morning, some of us could be waking up into the upper 50s. Refreshing air on the way. Now how much rainfall we're we talking about? Not much. Of course, if you do get caught under a heavy downpour, you could see upwards to an inch. But it, it will be lucky if we see close to a tenth of inch rainfall. So get the sprinklers ready. We still have a moderate drought conditions widespread across much of uh, Northeast Ohio. And as we get beyond tomorrow afternoon, widespread dry conditions. That's going to be an ongoing theme for us. So that's good news. But let's talk about the better news is on the way. 74. That's it for your high temperature for Thursday. Sunny skies on the way for Friday. This weekend, make some plans now. Low 80s, sunny skies lasting.